The song is Nowhere Man by the Beatles, written by John Lennon in less than 10 minutes. Let's see if we can learn the song in less than 10 minutes as well. The song starts on the E major chord. B major. A major. E major. Now on the studio recording, this is where the rest of the band comes in. The song starts off with the band singing a cappella for the first four measures. On the fifth measure, the guitar, drums, and bass kick in with the F sharp minor chord. So from the F sharp minor, we go to A minor and back to E major. Before we play through the verse the first time, let's go ahead and take a look at the strumming pattern. The down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. There's nothing too complex about that pattern, but what John Lennon does that's really interesting is he changes on the upbeat of the four rather than on the one, as 90% of all songs do. And that's a statistic I just made up. Here's how it looks. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Now that you have the pattern underway, let's go ahead and figure out when that change comes in. For this exercise, what I want you to do is move your hand on the and of four. Don't worry about playing an actual chord, just move, give some, your hand some movement. The purpose of this exercise is to train your brain to move the hand on the upbeat of the four rather than on the one, which you're probably already used to doing. So here's how it's going to go. Down, down, up, up, down, change, down, down, up, up, down, change, down, down, up. Up, down, change, down, down, up, up, down, change. Go ahead and play that part a few times through and I'm sure you'll have it. Now let's go ahead and play that verse. Keeping that same down, down, up, up, down, change, down, down, up, up, down, change. And that's the verse to Nowhere Man. Let's take a look at the chorus. The chorus starts off on the G sharp minor on the fourth fret, moves up to A major on the fifth, back to the G sharp minor, A major, G sharp minor, and then finally we get two measures or eight counts of F sharp minor. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, followed by the B7 for four, one and two and three and four and. Now let's go ahead and play through the chorus. One and two and three and four and. the chorus. The only thing left to learn on the rhythm guitar is the outro. The outro starts off as the last verse and then after the E major which ends all of the verses we're going to repeat this F sharp minor to A minor to E major sequence. We're going to do that two extra times. So let's do that together. One and two and three and four and Is the rhythm guitar to Nowhere Man. Let's take a look at the lead guitar. The first time we hear George Harrison's lead guitar work is at the end of the first verse and he plays this riff. What it sounds like to me he's doing is muting this G string and playing so all together it's And that riff repeats at the end of every verse. At the outro we see a similar riff, which is... And 
all you're doing there is, it's a very similar riff, but instead of playing, you're playing. So slide that ring finger from the second fret of the D string up to the fourth fret, and then play the second fret of the G string, then an open B. time he plays the same riff he played at the end of every other verse. And that's it for the verse and the outro. There isn't much lead guitar work in the chorus. It's the first chorus goes into the solo. The second and third chorus we do see some lead guitar work from George Harrison. The second is simply this. One and two and three and four and three. Going back into the verse. Again, he remains silent for the whole chorus, but at the very last chord, the B7, he plays the B on 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... That's the second chorus. The third chorus he plays... So he'll play all four beats. And that's the lead guitar work for the third chorus. I saved the solo for last because it's the most difficult, but you'll see it's not very difficult at all. Play the E major. Again, E major, strum all the way through, and then play the E, and then B. Move your position up to the B. You're playing these three strings, the D, the G, and the B. Then play the A. You're playing again the three strings, D, G, and B, and then playing... Let's start again from the beginning. So the next time he plays this E major, he puts his pinky on then plays the B and the E string. So strum through. Now move to the F shape minor chord. You're only going to play through to the G string. And you're going to go from the G string back to the D string. Try that again. Let's take it from the beginning, everything we got so far, starting with the E. Now play an A minor in this position. And you never, you don't play the C, but I put my finger there just in case I'm playing live and I make the mistake of hitting it. You're gonna play the A string, the D string, and the G string and strum it back to this C. And this is B to A. And then a harmonic there. I've also seen people play the harmonic up here. I've seen George Harrison play it up here, but in the studio recording it's definitely there. It's just a little bit trickier to get that harmonic, especially if you're playing it on the fly live. So. Let's try that again from the very beginning. And that is the solo. And there you have it, both the Rhythm guitar and the lead guitar lesson for Nowhere Man by the Beatles. If you like the way I give lessons, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And most importantly, give me some suggestions for future lessons you'd like to see. I do my best to get them out just as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.